Okay, another quick video, video on mods I've done and mods I would like to do on this X108. So, first of all, if you haven't seen my other videos, there's a video with a quick route around these pegs here. They're a bit of a foot brace. I did those. It's sort of a uh, proof of concept, really. Uh, they do work pretty well, actually. I might make something a bit more aesthetic, uh, but they're a little bit because there's although there's plenty of room in here, and you get you think, with this here. And the thing is, I do like this because it's really good to pull you up, but it does get in the way of your feet. Uh, and there's not you you tuck your feet into here, and you can end up bashing the front your shin on there if you're bouncing about digging stumps out of hard ground and I've got so many bruises so on my shins I want to put these on obviously there's one the other side so that is one mod and that's uh, work in progress really I should say the other mod oh a bit more so right so this machine has in its oil reservoir down the bottom on the left hand side it ha does have a built-in suction filter and uh well i don't know exactly people have said it's about 100 micron which i've learned so much about hydraulics or more about hydraulics finding out bits of information of uh, how to improve the machine so the recommendation is really from what i can gather is the return filter so the line you're better off with a return filter back to the tank rather than a suction filter because you can cause cavitation of the pump but 100 microns is quite big, uh, big holes in it if, if you like, and it's qu quite a large filter for the size of the machine, so you shouldn't probably get the cavitation problem. But you've still got the filtration problem. The ideal place to put it, apparently, is the last component in the return line back to the tank. So it's under lower pressure. I wouldn't say it's under no pressure, it's under lower pressure, and actually because there is a bit of restriction where it comes back to the tank, you do get uh, a higher reading than I was expecting on here. Anyway, so this is a return line filter. So two new hoses, a bracket, pressure gauge, which is to tell when the filter's clogged. And actually, I'm just m interested in monitoring a few things on the machine. So that's why that's there. Uh, and I've got an oil temperature sensor here, which goes to a gauge on the dashboard. Uh, because I'm monitoring oil temperatures to see whether the machine actually needs an oil cooler or not. Uh, a couple of European videos where the oil cooler actually, this is where it mounts and that's where the hoses are. And the guy on there, it, it was on their deluxe machine and uh, he was saying you, you only sort of really, I gather if you only, we only really need the oil cooler if you, very hot ambient temperatures, running the hammer line on it, uh, as opposed to just a normal accessory off the auxiliaries and if you're doing a lot of tracking well I'm doing none of those so I'm seeing how it goes and actually if I was to put one on whether I put it on here uh, or whether I would actually I think I might actually find the room to put it in here or put it in here and even mod this inside panel Ooh, over here to uh, put the fact so it drew it was in a, some colder air uh, all they explain I this I spent on the last video is you can't operate properly you can push this bit down but you can't push the toe down so uh, I need to do a bit of a mod here to come out with here now I fancy a, like a left and right pedal actually so you can when I've got the hydraulic grading tilt and grading bucket on the end I can control it the other thing is as well I put the hydraulic grading bucket on which has got this small hydraulic cylinder so you can tilt the bucket if your machine's not level and with these valves fully open it's mental you only have to touch the pedal and it flicks from one side to the other so uh, I didn't experiment too much because it was just uh, I was just having a quick go to make sure it worked so I suppose you can either restrict the flow in here maybe and put a mark on it where you'd want it to be but actually what I've done I put an inline flow control you can adjust it on one of the lines on the bucket to try that firstly uh, but I haven't had any cause to need it again so other mods I definitely want to make a guard for this ram here to cover this up because if you're pulling stumps out and carrying you tend to be up against here you can see 
I've caught a few times, but I'm tr trying to be careful. It wouldn't take much to rip that pipe off, and then you're going to be in doo doo, especially if you're in an awkward spot and you can't move the machine because you bust this. So, definitely a guard for that. Definitely a guard for this over here and this side here because these are very vulnerable, especially like you're working around this. I'm load, been loading this skip tends to catch them while we're here some other mods are done they got these bizarre they're well not bizarre got these grease nipples oh actually those aren't the original ones so where i've had to i've upgraded the grease nipples to a better quality type these that sit flush with the pinhole so but wherever else i can I've gone back to, I've tried to put normal grease nipples. This one underneath here, this was on the top. What I've done, undone the ram, rotated the, the ram through 180, so the grease nipples there, you get through there. You can see, change that to a normal grease nipple. Uh, that one I've changed to a normal one because you're not gonna bash that. And that one I've changed to a normal one because minimal risk of bashing that. Uh, left upgrade this one to a better flush type or whatever you want to call it the one that takes the needle so it's in there because that's got an opportunity to get uh, bashed I don't think I change those uh, change it to a 45 degree one underneath there normal type because the problem with those although they work okay it's a two-handed job three-handed job so one to uh, pump the grease gun which usually needs two hands unless you've got an electric one and the other one to uh, hold the needle in there uh, a couple of other mods that I would like to do so this fuel gun cage I like it being on the outside but I might well actually I've not ever caught it but I was thought about making a little cover on the side so it's not just a square sharp edged bit of perspex on there fuel filler orange thing down right down the bottom it won't focus but it's down there it's a bit of a reach down there to get it so a little door or something on the back here i've seen a mod with a door but i think i might make a hole with a tool can't remember i mentioned that in this video or the last video while we're down here these uh it's, they're quite chunky actually They've got banjo fittings on here I'm going to make a guard for this ram because you wouldn't believe the amount of times when you dig in is you flick a stone up and it comes it either lands on here actually this isn't the original hose this got pinched and then burst and leaked so it's been upgraded with one with a it's, it's double wire wound inside and it's got this coil on the outside but I'm worried about damaging the ram so there's a guard making a guard for that what else nothing else really uh no i think that's it at the moment so a couple of guards uh i forgot to mention one of my other videos these hoses because i'm not going to go back and remake the other videos these hoses run straight from the ram straight up to the control up here so if you damage one of these hoses you're gonna have to change the whole thing or get a split hose made and uh, that's what I would intention as I break them I think what I'd do is either split them there so it means once these eventually fail where they bend there I can change that bit or if I catch a hose up here and change that bit some of the machines actually have got I think the later version of this their latest model has got steel pipes on uh, the other mod I had to do was because I was putting some new pipes in for the return filter and I wanted to fit my gauge I had to take this cover off there is this you can see where the empty bolt is there this wrapped down there and across there like a u-shape there was no way you could get it off without seriously damaging something so with a multi-cutter I'm going to put a dummy bolt in there with a multi-cutter I just drew a line and I cut a nice little line off there it's still not easy to get off but it's a damn sight easier and if you're in the middle of a maintenance job or repair where one of these hoses goes and you need to take that off pronto to get to it and it's like a right bird's nest of there's so many hoses going up into here it's unbelievable uh, when I've got this off again I might do a, do a short video just to show you what it looks like is uh, 
you don't want to be messing around because if you're in a rush you're just going to hack that off with frustration or hit it with a hammer so i thought right well i've got time let's make this reasonably easy to take off right can't think of anything else i think the video is long enough at 10 minutes right okay i'll hopefully get another video uploaded where i'm going to compare this to the carter and uh, we'll talk again bye now